Coach Cass, thanks for taking the time. Uh, four games underneath your belts. You're two and two. Let's go maybe if we can, kind of game by game. Iowa, tough time with the bats in that game. Paul Skeens played well to start your impression of your team. All right, if we're going to go through game by game. Uh, well, let's look at all four. I mean, if we want to generalize everything, I thought our pitching was outstanding. Offensively, uh, we definitely didn't bring our bats. And then, defense, and then defensively, also, we lacked what we can do. So uh, improvement-wise, where do we need to go from here? Uh, pitching, once again, incredible. Defense, we have to play better. And then hopefully we'll get our bats rolling a little bit too. Uh, we face some great arms, so I'm not gonna. That's the, not gonna be the excuse, but uh, especially in game one, you had Paul Skeens uh, facing one of their Iowa players. He's gonna be a one. He'll be either in the first or second round of the draft. So he's a great pitcher as well. Um, unfortunately for Paul, he got knocked out pretty early, and we're limited in regards to how many pitches our kids are gonna throw this early in the season. So with that, um, unfortunately, our defense failed us a little bit and didn't have the bats and. We came back the next day, and uh, I'm glad we responded the way we did and took care of business against Ball State and Sung Min Shim. First time he's pitched since he was a junior in high school. He was hurt as a senior, came in as a freshman last year, had to have surgery. And then for him to be able to go out and have a dominating performance was outstanding. Um, our bats came alive a little bit, and then uh, the, the nightcap for us was a, a part of that double header of the day. We got to play West Point. And that was the big one there to play Army and uh, squeak out a four to three victory was, uh, was a great emotional high for our boys, um, especially coming off a, a pretty drastic loss against Iowa. And then uh, be able to respond the way we did was incredible. Um, then on Sunday, unfortunately, our bats were silent again, but we had another great pitching day. We only gave up one hit. So I, I don't know the actual numbers that we had in regards to how many earned runs we had over the entire weekend, but it wasn't very many. So once again, pitching, Fabulous. Defensively, offensively, we're going to get better. But it's only four games in. So we have 52 more to go and hopefully a conference tournament that we'll be uh, playing in. And we'll just continue to take one game at a time. Yeah, Heading a little bit north to North Carolina this coming weekend against Navy. You beat Army in one game. You get to play Navy for three. Uh, just talk to me about the differences in dynamic, the same team in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Well, uh, it's exciting to be able to go, of course, to play your sister service academies. I mean, these are games our guys definitely get up for, and same with Army and Navy. So this is the, uh, the best weekend of baseball, in, in my eyes, when you have two teams that are truly in it for the love of the game. Because uh, once again, uh, for our boys on both sides, you know, our job is to go fight wars. And with that, uh, I salute Navy, I salute uh, West Point for what they're going to go do for our country. And it's just a tremendous atmosphere in Kinston, North Carolina. Highly recommend people to go attend this one because the place will be packed, the weather's gonna be beautiful, and to have the opportunity to compete against Navy for three games is uh, gonna be an awesome experience for our boys. Yeah. Do you, const what can you do? I mean, here in Colorado, snow's flying. So can you, how can you get your bats a little bit hotter when it's you know negative two degrees outside? Well, yesterday was supposed to be our off day but it was a little bit warmer. So uh, we had a few of our pitchers didn't pitch this past weekend. So we had live confrontation yesterday. So we practiced yesterday. Uh, we're gonna take Wednesday off because the weather here is not gonna be great. As we see outside today, it's not very great as well. So um, it, you know, it's just uh, confidence. That's the big thing. Uh, we, I know our guys, our bats are gonna get rolling. It's just a matter of when. And hopefully we can get them going this weekend before coming home next weekend to play University of Nevada, who is our preseason number one team in our conference. Yeah, should be fun. Kaz, thanks for the time. Good luck against Navy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brian.